Hey what's up guys this is going to be my second Firebase tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to register your app with Firebase and how to authenticate users. So this is going to be good for pretty much any app you make where you want some kind of a login system where users log in and they get access to certain features like a database for example whereas users that don't log in can't get access to it. So we're just going to make a simple layout here and we're going to enter an email field and we're going to register some emails in Firebase and then I'm going to show you that you can log in with them. Then in the next video I'm going to show you how once you're logged in you can get access to things like the database. So the first thing you need to do is if you haven't already watched my previous video the one on setting up Firebase for your app so that we can get Firebase all ready to go and we can start writing code. Alright so I made a new project I called it Firebase Authentication. First we're going to throw in our layout. I just made a layout so I'm just going to throw it in here. So we just got an email, password, sign in and sign out fields. So we can close that. Now since we're going to be making an app that authenticates users we can just go up to tools, go to Firebase and follow the steps for that procedure. Go to email and password authentication. Uh, you can see that the app is connected so that's what I go through in the previous video that I made and now we're going to add Firebase authentication to our app. So now once Gradle's done doing its thing, before I forget I want to go over to the manifest and throw in internet permissions. I always forget that so let's just get that over with right away. First as always, uh, write the log. Oh, I don't know why that didn't. There we go. And now basically we just follow this. We just scroll down here and it's going to show you how to make the objects that you need and how to use them. So you can see the first one we need to create an, a Firebase authent Firebase auth object. So we'll just throw that in. Then declare our Firebase auth object in on create. Create a Firebase auth listener. So this is this uh, this is gonna monitor changes to uh, your Firebase auth. Oh, forgot to declare the listener. So we'll stick that up there too. Now we add these methods here on start and on stop. And yes, you need to add these, it won't work if you don't. Now we're going to declare our edit text fields and our buttons and declare them in the onCreate method. Now we're going to create our onClick listener for the sign in button. We'll just get our email field, our password field. Then we're going to do a little bit of exception handling here just in case there's they someone forgets to type in the email and type in the password. We don't want it to submit null values because the app will crash. We can handle that with a simple if statement. So if the values aren't null, then we can do our thing. So the method I'm going to use here to submit their email and password to Firebase is listed. So you can see, uh, let's create user, and this one's sign in with email and password. So they define the method here, so all we have to do is call it. So I go m auth dot sign in with email and password, and then pass the email and pass the password. So you can see how easy it is to follow this documentation. It's really great. And then we're going to have an else statement here just to let the user know that they forgot to type in the email or the password, or both. And if you watch a lot of my videos, you're going to be very familiar with this toast message method that I'm going to create at the bottom here. Just an easy way to print out toast. So now we're going to go up to the auth authentication listener up here, and I'm going to, I want to print out the email when they sign in, and I want to let the user know uh, when they sign out. We'll put a toast here, just letting letting the user know successfully signed in, and we can get their email with by calling the get email method on the user. And when they sign out, we can print out print out a toast that says successfully signed out. And last but not least, let's make a button down here for signing out. We just used um, the authentic what is it the Firebase authentication object and call sign out, and then we'll just print a message saying signing out. Okay, that's it. Let's run it. Holy shit, that emulator took forever to get going. If somebody knows a way to speed these things up, please let me know. It drives me crazy. Okay, so anyway, now that we have this up and running, now we want to go to our Firebase project and we want to create some users so that we can sign in to them. So we'll go to uh, log in to our uh, Firebase console, go to authentication over here, and set up sign in method. We'll uh, enable email and password. Uh, I don't care about any of this other stuff. Go over to the users tab and I want to show you it not work and then I'll show you it work. So I'll create a user. First I'm going to try and sign in with a user that doesn't exist. 
So, and I'll just type in my password is password and I'll go sign in and we can see nothing happens. So now if I add a user and I'll just type my password is password, add user, cool. Now I'll try again, successfully signed in with Mitch at Tabian.ca. Cool. So now we'll test the sign out, signing out. I'll try, I guess, just logging in with a different user just to show you. I'll try signing in with m at tabian.ca, hit sign in, and nothing happens. So this tutorial, this video is pretty basic just to show you how authentication works. In the next one, I'm going to show you the things that authentication gives you access to. So once you, like for example, once you have a user signed in, you can start adding things to, to the database. And that's what I'm going to go over in the next video. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.